Let me tell you a story about a transgender horse named Dylan. A horse who loved to run. Dylan lived in an LGBTQ plus friendly community where a handshake means these guys were probably gay. A community of seemingly patriotic people that secretly hate their own country. A community where two men can share a beer on a porch without people assuming they're gay. Which of course they are. A place where people are free to be themselves, unless they're straight white men. So this bud's for you, Dylan. Wherever and whatever you are. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and yikes! Yikes, yikes, yikes. Things just keep getting worse for Bud Light and Budweiser now, and now it's spilled over into Anheuser-Busch's other products as Budweiser tries to rule out like an apology ad. Um, this like super American, we love America, check out our horses. And it falled, fell completely flat. This is working. There are more ways to uh, f make our voices heard than just the stock price, which has about stayed flat ever since all of this started, but we've also not seen any actual official reporting. I have some later today, so if you haven't yet and you're enjoying the coverage or you enjoy the meme intros, please always leave a like on the video and subscribe down below. Let's talk about the new ad that dropped because it did not go well. They had to uh, bring up imagery of um, the Hope Towers of Hope. They're like, oh, remember? Remember 9-11 by our Budweiser product? It was one of the most heinous displays I've ever seen. And this is what happens when a company gets woke. People finally have enough of it. And it's what's driven. That's why I'm so glad. I want to just say I'm not even going to shill it. I'm just going to say thank you, everyone who have try has tried my coffee company, my coffee, tea, or cocoa this weekend. Um, everybody's staying late in the um, in packing boxes and making sure everything's getting out in a reasonable turnaround time. We uh, just as a quick reminder, we roast our beans fresh to order. They're available in whole bean or ground. We have all of our regular premium flavors. We launched strawberries and cream, which is ridiculous. Our cold brew bags sell like nuts. Blueberry cobbler, hazelnut churro, double caffeinated. We even have decaf. So anything you like to drink. Coffee Brand Coffee has it for you. You're supporting the channel. You're supporting a company right here in America and a company that will never get political. So I hope that you'll give us a try. And if you don't like it, I'll refund your money. Now, Budweiser slammed for Back to the Basics patriotic Clydesdale ad released two weeks after Bud Light debacle that cost it $6 billion in market value and following the CEO's lukewarm apology. Budweiser has released a patriotic new ad featuring the iconic Clydesdale horses just two weeks after the Dylan Mulvaney Bud Light deal sparked huge backlash, but the public is not biting the bit. The one-minute spot was released on social media Friday and featured images of the iconic Clydesdales gla galloping across the country in open fields past landmarks including Lincoln Memorial, the New York City skyline. A deep-voiced narrator says that Budweiser is a story bigger than beer as the horses race across the screen. It's a story of American spirit, he said. It's not. Uh, the ad for beer, which, like Bud, White, Bud Light, is also owned by Anheuser-Busch, appears to be a pivot to return to traditional values for the brand, which historically appeals to blue-collared American workers. This is stark difference to the Bud Light's doomed partnership with trans influencer Mulvaney, Dylan Mulvaney, which ended in a lukewarm apology from the firm's CEO. However, Users online slammed the ad as a pathetic attempt to right the ship that was permanently sent in the wrong direction with the Mulvaney partnership. This is the thing. This is hitting Main Street. The, every, all these leftoids online want you to think that it doesn't matter, that, oh, the stock came back a little bit, so you're... Trust me, I had aunts and uncles and in-laws bringing it up to me. They don't even watch my videos. They don't even watch... Uh, they're not terminally online. They're just like, oh, what's going on with this Bud Light thing? Jeez, I was trying to have a Bud Light and everyone was making fun of me. Like, it's, it's, and again, I've got data later uh, in another video to break down that shows 
uh, it's down in something like 30% of uh, bars. Uh, so my favorite advertisement by a mile was uh, one of the comments says was the Clydesdales after 9/11. It was an absolute. It was absolute perfection. After you embrace, after your embrace of the trans agenda, glorifying a man looking for his 15 minutes of fame by mocking women, I will never buy or serve your beer again. That's the thing. Like, is Budweiser and Bud Light going to go broke completely? No, of course not. There's a lot of people that just drink Bud Light because it's cheap or they're not online or they just don't care about this stuff, but it's having an impact. Is the horse trans now, wrote radio host Dan O'Donnell. Nope, you guys destroyed your own base and market because you had to go woke. I'll never drink any of your products again. LOL, hard pivot, huh? Uh, So, I mean, commentator Philip Holloway wrote, don't look now, Anheuser-Busch and Budweiser but the Clydesdale has already left the barn. The train has sailed. The ship has left the station. I mean, the thing is, in one of the images, it has two people raising an American flag as one places her hand over her heart. As a flag is raised, narrator says, brood for those who found opportunity and challenge and hope in tomorrow. Another shot in the ad shows downtown New York skyline where the Freedom Tower now stands instead of the World Trade Center. At the, at the moment... The uh, narrator says the word, remember. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you literally, I mean, and then again, this is why this doesn't, it's like a, it's a feeding frenzy. All right. They're on the ropes. They're gassed, you know, and it's time to just keep pummeling them. Like we had what, two weekends of this now? The sales numbers indicate it's working. People are making other choices when it comes to their beer, mostly switching to cores. From data that I found, now Coors is also woke, but it's, again, it's not Bud Light. So that's all you got to worry about right now. You can find the perfect beer kind of thing and, and figure out exactly what you want a little bit later. But for now, it's not Bud Light, and that's making a statement. I mean, you see, Fox Business. Budweiser releases new pro-America ad with iconic mascot in wake of anheuser Bush Mulvaney controversy. I mean, nobody, nobody is uh, buying this. This is why the, one of the core tenets of the like coffee brand coffee, it, it's why I literally called coffee brand coffee, coffee brand coffee. Because I'm like, I don't want any gimmicks. That's my gimmick. It's literally coffee. It's, it's high quality coffee. And that's all we're ever going to talk about. Um, you know, you see, uh, let's take a look at, by the way, Anheuser-Busch has suffered a financial hit as calls to the boycott brand have spread across the country. With one Missouri bar owner telling Fox Business last week that sales of Bud Light bottles dropped 30% while draft sales dropped. 50%. Budweiser's famous Clydesdales, which have been a staple of the company's advertisement for decades, have also found themselves in the middle of a controversy. A Budweiser distributor in Missouri canceled all scheduled events to showcase the horses last week amid safety concerns for its employees. I mean, I don't think that, again, I think that that's a little too far. Now, the thing is, the commercial itself is fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with the commercial. We're going to take a look at it, too, because um, it's just people are not buying it. You could see Ali Lenny Budweiser releases pro-American ad two weeks after Dylan Mulvaney backlash. The new advert comes after Anheuser-Busch released a statement which failed to apologize for the backlash and instead talked about traditional values and being pro-America. I mean, you see uh, here, OutKick writes, the story of American spirit. Anheuser-Busch is running a paid Budweiser ad campaign that paints the company as patriotic following Dylan Mulvaney disaster so far it seems to be failing. Anheuser-Busch is attempting uh, to get back in the good graces of customers with a new Budweiser ad following the Dylan Mulvaney backlash, um, but it's it fell flat. Budweiser's official Twitter account is running a massive paid ad campaign for a pro-America video that attempts to tie America into the popular brand. I do not follow Budweiser, but it popped on my feed this morning with a promoted tag. You can see they're actually running they're they're paying millions to promote this now it says 35 million views it has as a sunday morning the budweiser video is nearing th- nearing 35 million impressions since being shared friday afternoon while it's impossible to know for sure it seems largely a chunk of those impressions were paid because the beer brand has fewer than 275,000 followers the ad features we already know clearly the company's trying to tap into people who love the red white and blue those are in large part the exact people who don't want woke politics injected into beer. The beer powerhouse knows something must be done. It's obvious that Anheuser-Busch is not pleased with how the situation is playing out 
ever since Mulvaney dropped the Bud Light collaboration video, which painted the woman as too stupid to understand sports, the backlash has been intense and unrelenting. Sales are reportedly down. Anheuser-Busch has lost billions in market cap. Several celebrities have publicly dragged the beer brand, and Whitworth had to do something. Now Anheuser-Busch is claiming it loves America. Uh, people will quickly forget about the Dylan Mulvaney situation. However, it does not seem to be working. The comments are ruthless on the video, including many that are hidden. And that's, a, you know, that's the other thing is like, they, they, I'm, I'm telling you, they're going to end up just blocking people. They're going to have to block like 50,000 people, anybody who criticizes them. Otherwise, they have like no chance whatsoever to make to memory hold this. And I really don't think they're going to anyway, as long as we keep the pressure up. If you if you agree, leave a like on this video, share it to Twitter, share it to Facebook, share it out there. Um, he said, comments, you're an abject embarrassment, a dis disgrace to your brand, a denigrator of women, and no one should drink your crappy products. So you pander to the 1% and woo, the rest of us with a commercial of how the other 99% of America grew. We aren't stupid. You messed up big time. Damage, damage control in full swing. You see, you're an absolute joke. Embrace the suck, Budweiser. You're done. Uh, I thought this was a joke when it for, first said it is the horse trans. I mean, I don't know why Donald Trump Jr. opened his mouth and said something silly about this. But when you look at the actual Budweiser USA Twitter feed, it released this video. Again, it has, I guess, 12.8 million views on the video, but 52.5 million impressions. They have spent enormous money, millions and millions of dollars most likely to promote this ad on Twitter to try and offset. And it's, it's getting, it's just got ruthlessly ratioed. It's their pinned tweet. It has 16,000 comments of barely 13,000 likes. And remember that Every one of those likes is now seeing people absolutely dunking on this company. I'm not sure a lineup of B-roll footage and some guy throwing middle, middle America buzzwords at us will win us back. And frankly, bringing 9-11 into this is kind of insulting. My favorite part of the advertisement, oh yeah, was the, yeah, introducing the new Budweiser Clydesdale team. Yeah, that seems about right. Fire the woman who put Bud in this terrible spot, and maybe we'll believe this ad is authentic. Until you do, we're left to believe Horse identifies as a pink unicorn. That I would 100% agree with. Like, you've got to fire somebody, and maybe it's the CEO, but you know heads have to roll, or you have to make a specific apology about it. Otherwise, people are not going to let this one go, and I'm absolutely here for it. Make sure you leave a like on this video. If you get a chance today, head on over to coffeebrandcoffee.com. At least check out the reviews. We've got 4,213 authenticated reviews with an average review score of 4.8 out of 5. Every product we sell has been reviewed many, 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 many times. So you don't have to take my word for it. We've got 15 organic teas. We've got maybe 20 different coffees. And we also have real cacao cocoa. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bud Light, get woke, go broke.